Hey there Libra and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your monthly reading. This is going to be a reading for the month of July and we're going to take a look at your past, your present, and your near future energies. Also Libra, if you'd like to book a personal reading, all the information about how to do that is in the description box below. Okay. Definitely a relationship here. There's definitely another energy showing up next to you. Um, wow, I love this. So at the bottom of the deck, you get the lovers. So like I said, definitely a connection. Now, the main energy for your reading is the Six of Wands. You're feeling very, very good about something. Very like, you know what? I made it. I put in the work and now I'm here and I finally made it. Loving the energy for this reading, I honestly like don't even want to clarify. <laughs> In the recent past, you get the Chariot, the Ace of Wands, the Judgment. You're moving quite rapidly towards rekindling the spark with, between you and somebody else. Or this is a recent past, so you did. It's almost like you're showing me I made the decision to bring this back, to rekindle the spark. And it happened very, very quickly. Usually, especially as an air sign, you like to think, think, think things through, really think about it, analyze it, make sure you're making the right decision. And here you're showing me you're just like, wanted it, felt it, I need this, like I made this decision, I'm good to go. Now, in the current situation, you get the Hierophant, the Nine of Cups, and the Seven of Cups. Again, a very, very strong connection. For some of you, it's one of those connections that just feel like even though we're not married, we might as well be. Some of you may have been married to this person, but for most of you, it's just like, you know what? Even though we're not married on paper, we might as well because it feels that intense. And this connection brings in a lot of emotional stability for you, a lot of emotional balance. However, there is something that you're a little bit confused about here. So it could be that you're not really sure like where this is going to go. There's something that you're confused about in the current situation, and we'll see what that's about when we clarify. In the near future, you get the High Priestess, the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Swords. Your intuition is coming in and letting you know, hey, look. There's no doubt here. You're very, very clear on the direction that you want to move in. You're very clear on what you want to do. It's like you have this realization, both mentally, intellectually, what makes sense, and also your intuition's kicking in. Your higher self is coming in and kind of supporting your decision to pursue this romantic connection and really open up and really express how you feel. This is beautiful. I honestly don't even want to clarify this, but let's start off. I want to clarify the main energy for your reading, which is the six of wands. Six of Wands is clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, again, the Seven of Swords. So what I do see here is overall you feel really, really good. Things are feeling good, things are moving in a really great direction, and everything feels awesome to you. However, you're moving very, very slowly, right? Because you're showing me here, I don't fully trust the situation. It's not like there's anything that's giving you any suspicion where you're like, eh, is this person like lying to me or cheating to, on me? None of that, but it's more so like this feels good and I want to make sure that I'm moving slowly and cautiously so that I'm not missing anything, so that I'm not missing any of the signs, so I'm not missing anything because of how good this feels. So you're showing me like I'm moving slowly, I'm moving cautiously, everything feels great, but it's kind of like, okay, one step, stable, cool. Next step, stable, cool. You're not jumping a hundred steps ahead. Let's take a look at your recent past. I want to take a look at the chariot for you in the recent past. The Chariot is clarified by the Six of Cups, Four of Cups, Ten of Cups. This is beautiful. You're really in the recent past moved toward from an energy of being very unhappy to immense happiness. There's definitely a soul connection that showed up for you here in the recent past. It could be um, like a soul mate or it could just be one of those very deep, very intense connections that feel like your soul is connected to them. This is very beautiful energy. And it seems like you guys were not in the best place at some point in the past, but in the recent past, beginning of this month, essentially, you guys moved from that unhappy, not pleased, not, not content with each other type of energy 
into immense happiness, immense joy. Just literally, the Ten of Cups is one of the happiest cards in the deck. And you moved very, very quickly. It's almost like a like a flash from unhappiness to all like all the happiness. Let's take a look at the Ace of Wands in your recent past. Some of you may be dealing with a Taurus uh, that's showing up twice in your reading or just somebody that has a lot of Earth in their chart. For the Ace of Wands, you get the Seven of Pentacles, the Empress, the Two of Pentacles. This brand new spark kind of came out of nowhere. You guys coming back together came out of nowhere. And so it did kind of send you into an energy of evaluating whether or not what you're feeling is actually real. So it's like you're looking at this person, you're like, oh my gosh, you're the person that I want. You're the one that I want to be with. This feels amazing. This feels great. But you're looking at it a bit with like a side eye of like, mm, is this actually as good as I think it is? There's an energy here of confusion for you because things seem to be going so great. Things seem to be really working out that you're kind of like, uh, is this too good to be true? Like, how, well, like, what happened? How did we suddenly go and step into this energy of like you being my person, everything being so happy? Like, Things weren't so great like a little while ago, so there's a little bit of doubt here for you in the recent past. Let's take a look at the judgment in the recent past. So there's definitely some heartbreak that you experienced with this person. And you're showing me in the recent past that you made the decision to walk away from that, to leave that behind. It's almost like, yeah, we experienced pain, but everything feels so good. Everything feels so great. You feel like my person. I just want to move away from the heartbreak. Let's forget about that. And it's almost like you're making the decision to actively just be like, okay, the past is in the past. We're moving forward. Now, like I said, you're moving very, very slowly. And so even here in the recent past, you're showing me, yeah, I'm willing to leave the past in the past. I don't want to focus on it. But I do want to give this some more time. Everything feels great, but I need more time. Like, I need consistency to see that this great energy, that everything that we're feeling in the recent past is actually going to continue, right? Because it feels great now. What's going to happen moving forward? So you're showing me I need a little bit more time within this energy before I'm fully comfortable leaving the past in the past. Let's take a look at your current situation. I want to see what the Hierophant is for you in the current situation. Yeah, the Hierophant is clarified by the Temperance, the Four of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords. So again, you need more time. This connection feels very intense for you. It feels like you and this person are really coming together. Everything feels great. It feels like one of those, like I said, if you're not married, you might as well fucking be because that's how intense it feels. But you're showing me I still need more time. I'm not fully committing to this. I'm still holding back because your mind is coming in and replaying everything that happened between the two of you. Or for those of you that this is like a newer connection, um, but feels very, very deep. It's an energy of your mind playing out all the worst case scenarios that could happen. All the doubts, all the fears, all the insecurities, all the overthinking. <clears throat> and so because of that, because of that fear of things not working out, or the possibility of that happening, you're still holding back a little bit. And you're showing me, I'm not going to hold back forever, but I need more time before I feel comfortable fully allowing myself to dive into this. Why the Nine of Cups in the current situation for you? Nine of Cups is clarified by the Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands. Again, some of you may be dealing with an Earth sign or somebody that just has a lot of grounded, stable energy. You're showing me things are working, things are moving, everything feels emotionally stable, emotionally balanced. Even this person is bringing in a lot of nurturing and dependable energy. But you're still guarded. You're still very, very defensive about this whole thing. And it makes sense because this all seems a little bit too good to be true. You do have the fear of the heartbreak coming back in. You do have the fear, <coughs> excuse me, of things not working out. All I feel like you really need is just a little bit more time for this person to keep proving themselves to you and remaining consistent for you to feel comfortable and safe within this connection because overall the energy seem really, really nice. 
Let's take a look at the Seven of Cups in the current situation for you. Seven of Cups is clarified by the Queen of Swords, the Ace of Swords, which you get again in the same row in the near future, and the Wheel of Fortune. Things are happening very, very quickly for you. And so what you're showing me here is like there's a lot of things coming at me, almost so much so to the point where I'm a little bit overwhelmed. Like things are moving very quickly. Things are happening very, very quickly. This is a very big change for me. Um, because I feel like you're used to taking things a little bit more slowly and really thinking them through. And so what you're doing in the current situation, in order to be able to gain this sense of clarity, in order to feel comfortable with the decisions that you're making, you're trying as much as possible to take your feelings out of any decisions that you make moving forward. Whether it's to commit to this, whether it's to be with this person, whatever it is, whatever options you're looking at, you're trying to be very practical about it and you're trying to take your feelings out of the equation so that you can make the best decision possible for you because you're showing me things are happening very, 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 very quickly and I almost don't have the time to really think things through the way I like them to, to uh, the way I like to think things through. Let's take a look at your near future for the High Priestess. Wow. The High Priestess is clarified by the Magician, the Judgment, and the Sun. These are all major arcana cards, so this is letting me know that your higher self, your soul, your whatever you want to call it, is really intervening here in the near future and helping you manifest happiness. You're showing me I'm literally just focused on happiness. I want to be happy. I want to be very, very clear, crystal clear with everything that's happiness. It's with everything that's happening, and I want to just really be in a very optimistic, very happy energy. And your higher self is coming in and being like, hey, intuitively you can get there you know you can get there just manifest it put it out into the universe truly believe that it will come to you and you'll get it like the sun is the happiest card in the deck let's take a look at the knight of cups for you in the near future Knight of Cups is clarified by the Five of Swords, the Knight of Cups again, and the Six of Pentacles. There's a bit of an energy of self-sabotaging here. I'll explain what I mean. The energies between you and this person, I feel like you're expressing your feelings to them. They're expressing their feelings to you. There's an equal give and take, right? You give, they give. You give, they give. It's almost like an effortless flow of energy where you express your emotions, they express it back. It's very, very beautiful. And then somebody, could be you, could be the other person, is coming in and just doubting this. Starts questioning it. This is too easy. This looks too good. This is too, like the energy flows too well. Do they actually mean what they say? Do they actually mean that they love me? Do they care about me? Are their feelings real? Maybe they're trying to deceive me. Lots and lots and lots of doubts. Lots, like a lack of trust here. When the energies overall seem beautiful, they seem like they flow equally. They seem like they're equal give and take. So I don't know who's doubting this or why, but there's some doubt here in the near future. Let's take a look at the Ace of Swords in the near future for you. Ace of Swords is clarified by the Nine of Swords, the Knight of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. It's becoming very, very clear to you that you care about this person a lot. And what's beautiful is you're also very aware of the fact that they care about you too. Now, you're showing me I want to take action towards this. I want to make this happen. I want to be able to pursue this love. And again, to be able to express my love, my emotions openly without fear, without all these insecurities, without all these doubts. But it really, really stresses you out to be this vulnerable, to be this open. It's almost like you're very afraid of what could happen, of how you being this vulnerable could actually end quite badly for you. And again, these are all just fears. The energies overall seem beautiful. This person that came into your life seems like they're bringing in a very dependable, very practical energy. Um, but somebody here keeps questioning it and doubting it and fearing it and like, oh, this might not work out. Oh, I need to hold back. But I don't see it being like this for long. All This person with the doubts, all they need is just the other person to be consistent and continue to remain in this beautiful energy. And I feel like all these fears and insecurities are going to kind of make way. Let's see what the universe wants you to keep in mind this month.
from the universe, you get the Empress, the Strength, and the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, this person coming in seems like your person. They make you feel really, really good. You're looking at them like they're a snack and you are starving. Like, this is the person for you. But it's very, very difficult for you to fully trust this energy. And so what I do see is you still holding back. The energy that this other person is bringing in is very beautiful, it's very dependable, it's very practical, and it seems very authentic. And for some reason, you're like, oh, you're having a hard time just accepting this at face value. And so you're showing me, I don't want to let this person go because they make me feel amazing, but I'm also still holding back emotionally. Like, I'm not fully opening up to all of this because of the fears, because of the overthinking, because of the doubts, because of the insecurities. So Libra, that is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. If it did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you here on your next one.